this is Yolanda from the Ocrest channel and today's tutorial we're going to learn how to make this little baby tutu. It's actually, I made it for a photo prop for a little baby that's six months old, a little girl. And as you can see, it's quite fluffy. It's really bright in here right now, so I don't know if you'll be able to see quite well because the glare is kind of really strong. So hope you like the tutorial and let's get the party started. Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from the Outcrafts channel and today I'm going to show you how to make a little tutu. Um, this is pretty fluffy, it's kind of hard to tell but it is quite fluffy. And this is actually, I made it for um, photo prop, you know like babies, um, so a baby could wear for her um, six month photo. Um, but however, you can use it on a clothes. I would say I would recommend wearing it like over a onesie so that the this doesn't irritate the baby. Even though this is like super soft, it's not that stiff one. Um, I still think it would be probably more comfortable to wear it uh, with a little one onesie or a little shirt or something underneath. Uh, and then you could put this on top. So it just doesn't irritate it. But for the photo prop, she'll probably just be wearing it for a few minutes so it's not a big problem. There are several ways of making this. This one I did it with the elastic and so then it stretches which is kind of I like because then she they could wear it for a little longer and then you would just measure your child's waist um, add um, about an inch or so because you're going to overlap it if you're going to sew it together. With this one what I did is that you would just take the measurement of the child. Here I have a measurement here on my actual work area. So you would just like her I wanted it to be 16 inches for the waist, but then I added another half an inch so that I, or, or you could do an inch to lay, uh, overlay it, you know, wrap it over. So then you would just cut it. This is how I did it. Then I got this tip, this elastic. I used a thin one, um, and you really don't need to use anything thicker. Then you would just overlap it your half an inch. So here's a half an inch and half an inch. You would overlap it, making sure it's not twisted. Then you could either sew it by hand or sew it with the sewing machine. And just go over a few times with maybe a zigzag uh, stitch or whatever. A lot of you don't have um, a sewing machine. So you could just sew it by hand and just do that. I'm not going to do that part because it's really self-explanatory. Over, lay it over half an inch. See if you could see there. And then just cut it. I mean, just sew it over and then you'll have your circle ready to prepare. That's one way if you want to do it with the rubber band, if, I mean, excuse me, the elastic. If you don't want to do it with the elastic or you don't know how to sew even by hand or with the machine or are afraid of the machine, don't worry. You could also do it with a piece of ribbon and you just choose the ribbon color you like. For this, I cut out a piece of 30 inches. And then I folded it in half because I remember I want 16 um, inches for the waist. So then you would just fold it in half. And then here, let me see if I could uh, focus this because I don't know if you could see what I did here. It's so bright in here, so um, it's hard to see it. But I put a little mark with a little pencil at 8 inches here and then 8 inches there. So that I know that between this spot... I have my 16 inches and then what I'm going to do is you just make a little knot on either side or right on that, try to get it as close to that, let me see if I can get closer here, as close to that um, that mark where the mark is right there. So you're going to have a little knot on either side. There's the, the 8 inches mark there so I put a little knot and then on the other side here. On the other mark, I'm going to do the knot there. So then that I know that right there is where I'm going to put my little tool in between that section. And then I stay out of the um, the rest of it. So here, my tool would go in only here. And then this, there's your little knots there. When it, the tool is on, then you would just put it on the baby and then tie it with a little bow so that you can take it off you know just do a bow on there and then you take it off like this and then your little bow and if you want it longer the bow to kind of hang the ribbon then you could just make it 
longer, 50 inches, 36. But this is just, you're going to be able to take, put it on and take it off with a child. Just undo it. And then you would just pull it apart. Okay. So it's either, either way. To me, um, it doesn't really matter which way you do it. It's the same procedure. So here, I'm going to come back and show you once that little thing is sewn. And then I'll show you on the ribbon as well. You could do it two ways. You could either use, um, the tool. This one, I bought this roll at Joann's. It was on sale. So, um, this one is 60 inches wide and it's a soft one. So then I'm just going to cut strips of it six inches. Six inches, six inches. And every one of these is going to give me, um, three sections of 12 inches. And that's important because I made my little strips to be six inches on each side so it's really 12 inches strips and then I tie them on here if this is too um, kind of uh, confusing for you or you don't want to or you don't have access to this you can also buy the tool already in the little um, rolls like this this one um, I got this tool they have the ones that's a plane and then they have some with glitter and they have a lot of different colors so you can mix and match whatever color you want your tool um they sell them at different stores this one i got at this store here in i live in chula vista so if you live in like south san diego and san diego county you could go there's this fashion fabrics they just moved over to 733 broadway street between j and, and k and they have a bunch of stuff in there that's a pretty good price so i mean i'm just letting you guys know i'm not getting paid by them or anything so here um uh and i know that like uh on um let me see here. They said Mondays and Tuesdays they have like items that will be like they choose a different item and then they, you could get a 20, 30 or 50 percent off depending on the item. But it's just got a bunch of stuff in there for crafters. So um, they do have a Facebook page. It's F SD Fashion Fabrics. So you want to check it out. But anyway, you can go anywhere. This is just where I've gone and found a lot of different items. So, and then this, then you would only cut your strips 12 inches. Um, this one comes with 10 yards, so that's more than enough to do more than several of the little tutus. And then if it, you get the plane without the without the um, glitter, there's 25 yards on here. This was $3.98, so you make quite a few with this. And then this one was uh, $3.98 as well, but it, this one is $3.98. The, the one with 25 is $2.98, and then this one was $3.98. But then you don't have to cut... Because this can be kind of labor intensive when you're cutting the strips. Either way, it's up to you. But anyway, we'll start and let me bring back my uh, sewn piece and then we'll get started. Okay, I sewed the little rubber band together. Just going back and forth a few times and I just overlapped it the half an inch. So I did it on a sewing machine, but you can also do it on um, by hand. Or like I said, you can also do it with the ribbon. It's up to you whichever way is easier. I like this way because then I can stretch it out and the babies can wear it longer or whatever for a longer period of time. So one way to do it is with the roll and you can buy these at fabric stores or different areas. I got the really soft one. There's a stiffer one and sometimes they even go on sale for like a dollar a yard or something. So here what I do, I have this cutting board I'm going to use scissors, but you can use, um, if you're really good at it, you could use the rotary cutters. I'm not good at these. I don't know why. I've never been that good at them. My sister's really good with them, but I haven't really had that much luck. So then you just, I had cut this out to trim it. So here, I'm going to cut these um, six inches uh, wide. And then my, um, my um, board here, I just measure across here the six inches and my six inch mark is right here so I'm just gonna go through and I could see it because it's so it's so um, light and you just cut the number of strips you need for this um, tutu that's back here on the doll believe it or not this only has like 30 little strips and look at how super fluffy it is so you don't need that much um, and if you want to do it more you can change you can do it like multiple colors and just add it. So here, you just cut your strip six inches um, wide. Let me pull this a little bit here because it's making kind of a mess. And then my next strip would here would be six. And then 
once you get all your strips, each one of these strips is going to give me, uh, six inch sections is going to give me um, three of the little strips I need for here. So then I would only need to cut ten of these if I was doing this. And if you want it to come out this fluffy, if you want it fluffier, um, it's not always better because it just kind of loses shape. So then once I cut these, if you're doing it this way, then you just get your your um, piece. And I just have, or you could put a, a ruler on the table to measure. So here at the 12 inch mark, right here, I want it 12 inches long. And so then you just do it your 12 inches. So this is going to be one of those little strands. Once I fold it in half, this is all I need. So if you're going to use the, the roll one, if, if it's um, 60 inches like mine was, just cut um, your 30 little strips. There'll be 12. Uh, you'll get three pieces of each one of these. Once I go here again, I could do it again. Measure it for 12 inches cut my next 12 inch section and I just keep repeating that okay and then when you're gonna put them on you're gonna fold them over this is for um, I do like six inches six to seven inches for babies three to six months old I'll put um, underneath the video I'll put some suggested lengths so then you would um, know how to do it if you're doing it this way then all you do is get your rubber band not a rubber band um, um elastic there are some rubber bands for headbands that might work but I don't know if it would be too uncomfortable so then you just get your piece you get here I fold my 12 inch strip in half just like that kind of like when we put the hair on the um, uh, frozen hat if you saw that then I just get my rubber band I try to cover the place where the sewing part is first get it like this and then you're gonna pull the other section through it's kind of hard to see because it's such a light color. Just like that. And get this little stick to stick there. So that would be your first piece right there. It doesn't really show much, but that's basically all you're doing. Just like this. Then I would get my next piece. And remember, this one only had 30 of them. So it doesn't take that many. And if you want to do more, I just folded it like this. See? Put it get my elastic and then you get your back here I alternate one in the top and then one on the bottom just like that and pull it through so then I had one here going top on the bottom just like that and you're gonna do that all the way around and you could put as many see here you could put um, uh, white and pink or and uh, you know alternate them or do them all one solid color it depends on what you're doing now if you're going to do these little strips that I got over there at that fashion um, fabrics it's even easier <laughs> because now I don't have to cut the strips this is already six inches wide remember when I first did the first thing and measured them they're already six inches wide so all I need to do here is enroll it out on your measuring piece and then cut 12 inches 12 inches 12 inches 12 inches and these big pieces have these big those rolls have a lot so here look at how easy is this just get it fold it in half and it's about the same um, softness so I think that these are a lot easier those rolls so if you're in, in um, San Diego or Chula Vista I recommend that place they have good god they have so many buttons and you know those buttons that are super expensive? Some of them, they had them, they're like 10 for a dollar with the little crystal looking ones that are like $2.99 for four of them at the Joann's or whatever. Sorry, Joann's, but it's the truth. So then here, I just put this one and just do it like that. I can see it's a little bit different, the color, but... And that's how you're just going to roll them on. Let me see if I can put it... Uh, let me see if I can get it focused a little bit better when I do it close up so you could see what you're doing. So basically, can you see I'm just folding them up. This one was a little bit stiffer, but it's going to work perfect. See, and then they're all the same length. That's it. That's all you do for the tutus as far as this style. If you want to do them on the ribbon, it's the same thing. Just remember that you're only going to put your, your, tutu, your tool between the two knots. And if you want to make this a lot longer so it's easier to tie into a bow, you can do that. So then you would just get 
your strip, roll it out, and if you want to make them longer than, oh, well, I already have one here. That's If you want to make them longer, you can make them longer, but remember, it depends on the height of your little girl. So like if you want to do it for a two-year-old or six-year-old, just measure from their waist to where you want it to lay the thing and then just double it because you can just do it all together. So here's my 12 inches. I get my rib, my little tool and you could even add ribbons in between them. Here is in between the knots. It's like crazy how easy it is. You get your thing here just like that and then pull it out. Just be careful that you don't tear your tool because it is thin so it's easy to do. So that's all you're going to do all the way across between the two. So here the knot will keep it from going to the other side and then the knot on the other side will keep it from rolling out so they'll all be lined up. I think my baby doll is exhausted. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and finish these and you'll see how it looks. She's like get me out of here people get me out. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I know it's really short but there really isn't it really isn't a great mystery of what you do. I think these are easier to do. And it's not that expensive. Or if you get a good deal on the long one or you had some of this, go ahead, by all means, go ahead and use it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these little tutus. And then my next video is going to do a little matching um, headband. I'm going to be doing a tutu with these beautiful colors I got down there at Fashion Fabrics with these three colors and then I'm going to use a peacock feather for the headband. I hope you'll join me for that tutorial. Have, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and remember always that God loves you.